Hello and welcome to Mrs. Long's fourth video on figurative devices and errors. As in the previous three videos, you'll note that after learning about these devices, you should be able to give the definition of each device. And then once given the definition, be able to identify the device, recognize the device used in different contexts, and then explain the effect of the device in the given context. Today's video is all about the irony of things. So we're going to be looking at the different types of irony. Please remember that irony is all about opposites and often people get confused between coincidence and irony. Coincidence is not irony. Irony is about the subversion of expectations. So you expect something um, and then your expectation is subverted. That is ironic. So the first type of irony we're going to be looking at is situational irony. And I'll have a look at the example here. We've got a lovely far side comic of a young man who is trying to enter the school, Midvale School for the Gifted, and he's putting a lot of effort into pushing a door that is clearly labeled pull. This is a great example of situational irony. So situational irony is in the situation, the opposite of what you would expect to happen, happens. Okay. So it's, remember I said irony is about opposites. So when you are going to explain irony, you identify what the expectation would be and then explain how the current situation or the situation is your, in your example contradicts that expectation. Okay. So in this example, we, the boys entering a, a school for gifted children, so we expect him to be smart. However, he's trying to push a door that is clearly, very clearly, labeled pull, which brings his intelligence into question. So we would expect a child attending a school for the gifted um, to be able to read a simple sign that's very clearly on a door. And so it makes it funny. Um, and we have a little giggle at this poor person's expense. That is situational irony. So as with all the previous videos, what you're going to do is you are going to pause the video at this point, have a look at the example, and then once you feel like you've given it a good bash at explaining it, um, then you can carry on playing the video to see how right you were. Okay, so in this example, we've got John um, in the Garfield comic asking Garfield, why don't cats play fetch? And Garfield sniffs like that, he coughs, he gives a burp, can't do one on command, sorry, although my dog is sitting very close to the microphone, so you never know what's going to happen, um, and then he walks away scratching himself, and he says, we have too much dignity, that's referring to why cats don't pay fetch, right, so obviously, um, oh, sorry, yes, that is an offshoot of the dog sitting too close, to the computer that she sat on my mouse. Okay, so the situational irony here is that um, Garfield says that cats have too much dignity to play fetch. So you would expect him to behave in a manner that is dignified and poised. However, he subverts that expectation by burping, coughing, sniffing, and scratching his behind in public, which are undignified things to do. So the expectation is that he is going to be dignified because he refuses to play fetch, but he does all of these things that are undignified and therefore making the situation ironic. Right, now we can move on to the verbal irony. So let's look have, have a look at our example here. So we've got a, a gentleman who's pressing an elevator button and the woman behind him says, congratulations, you broke the code. If you press the elevator button three times after it's already been pressed, it goes into hurry mode. Okay. So if a situational irony is when the opposite of what you expect happens, verbal irony is when you say something, but you mean the opposite of what you say. Okay. So what you need to do to explain verbal irony is you identify um, what it would appear the person is saying, but then explain what they actually mean. All right. So in this context, the woman is, it looks like she's complimenting the man um, by saying, yes, you're doing a good job because if you push the button um, repeatedly, 
uh, out of frustration probably it makes the elevator go faster what she actually means is that she's mocking him she's saying you can push the button as you know as much as you want but it's not going to um make the elevator go any faster okay so she's saying the opposite of what she means now it'll be a note a little bit later on in this um in this video about sarcasm uh, because you probably have little um thoughts firing off in your head and say well isn't she being sarcastic um, we'll deal with that in a little bit okay so here is the example then the of verbal irony pause the video take a few moments to see if you can explain it and then unpause when you're ready to check yourself right so we've got a little bug who is standing outside in the hail he's got an umbrella and he's saying to the snail nice weather huh and the snail says yes why can't it hail or yeah now there's i think actually both of what they say is ironic because um although the snail is smiling so maybe i mean the the bug is smiling maybe he is enjoying the weather but anyway the snail is certainly uh, doesn't mean what he's saying so he's saying he wishes it could hail or yeah obviously he doesn't mean it because he's curled up in his little shell and he's being absolutely um pelted with hailstones um as his inconsiderate bug friend um, doesn't share the umbrella so you can imagine not a pleasant experience for the poor little snail being um, battered with hailstones so he doesn't mean what he's saying and what he's doing there is he's emphasizing um, perhaps the unpleasantness of the weather or the inconsiderate um, behavior of his friend okay so oops what have i done uh, sorry about that i uh, clicked the wrong button all right so we're moving on to what i mentioned earlier sarcasm so sarcasm is the tone of, of a deliberately um hurtful comment and you've heard the phrase sarcasm is the lowest form of wit so people people are often sarcastic um, as a way to kind of um, put somebody in their place or make them feel a bit silly so you we use irony to be sarcastic so what when what you say is ironic the tone comes across as sarcastic so look at these chickens here sausage chickens um one of my favorite little cartoons uh the one chicken says to his friend let's go to the beach and his friend replies yeah let's go back in the dirt with a bunch of sweaty strangers um so he's making it sound um, enthusiastic but obviously um by his the use of the words back in the dirt with sweaty strangers means that he doesn't think going to the beach is such a good idea so the device here is verbal irony because he is not saying what he means he means the opposite and his tone is coming across as sarcastic and therefore hurtful and um, deliberately trying to make his so friend suggestion seem silly okay final one is dramatic irony now a little bit different from the previous two devices those of you who are um, studying drama uh, will perhaps be familiar with this this device already um, so if we have a look at the example we've got uh, two little fish in a bowl sitting on a stove and we have a cat holding a little canister of pepper and the salt is been put down beside his foot and the fish is saying first he warms our bowl now he's feeding us and you thought he wasn't friendly okay again you're going to have a little chuckle even if you're not quite sure what dramatic irony means yet okay so dramatic irony is when the audience is aware of something that the characters are unaware of the audience knows more than the characters do you would have probably had this experience watching tv or um, theater where you feel frustrated because the character is just being completely oblivious and you actually want to shout and say no it's this or it's that the killer's behind behind you don't run up the stairs go out the front door okay so what you need to do when you're explaining dramatic irony is you need to identify what the characters think is happening and then explain what the audience knows to be true by referring to what is actually happening what is clearly happening so here we have the 
fish think that the cat is, well, the one fish certainly, I think his friend's a little bit skeptical, thinks that the cat is feeding them, okay, because fish food is those little tiny pieces of flakes that can sort of would look a little bit like pepper. But what is actually happening, well, the fact that the fish are on the stove, the plate is hot because it's red, um, and the cat is clearly cooking up some fish soup, okay. So um, we can see the bigger picture, the fish can't, um, we know that the cat is planning to eat them. Not both, both the fish aren't aware of it, although the one certainly suspects something. Because we know we know that because the other fish are saying you thought he wasn't friendly. So clearly um, the fish is speaking is a little bit more oblivious to the situation. Okay, again we have an example. Pause the video here, spend some time trying to explain it, and then unpause when you want to check your answer against the suggested answer. So we have two little nails standing on some wood, and the nail on the Right is saying to his friend, and then I heard a loud bang, and when I turned back, he was gone. Okay, so poor little Nell, he doesn't know where his friend is gone. Of course, those of us with dark sense of humor really enjoy this cartoon, because we know um, that what has actually happened, the loud bang was the sound of their little uh, nail friend being hit into the wood. Um, he's been nailed down, and yeah, he's not coming back. So... Um, lots of humor created by that irony because we know exactly what's happened to um, their friend but they do not right so that wraps up the video on mm -hmm. irony at this point there is a test your skills based on the previous video and this video um, looking at opposites and irony so again pause the video spend some time matching the example on the right to the device on the left um, and then once you are ready, you can unpause and click through to the answers um, or unpause and let the, the video go through to the answers on the final slide. Right, I hope you're feeling a little bit more confident with that. Um, if not, remember we are going to be doing quite a few more examples in class.